2008, and a Brazilian government plane flies above a remote part of the western Amazon. In the clearing below is one of the last uncontacted tribes in the world. How can these people still be completely isolated in today's world? What went through their minds as they saw the plane overhead? And what would have happened if the plane had landed? For the Yanomami of the northern Amazon, one of their first contacts was with outsiders searching for gold on their land. Several decades ago, the Brazilian government had a policy of contacting uncontacted tribes and they would settle them with the aim of assimilating them into national society. However, this proved absolutely disastrous and it wasn't uncommon within the first year of contact for up to 50% of a tribe to die from diseases to which they had no immunity. But for the Enawane Nwe of Western Brazil, first contact was a very different story. For years, they were caught up in ongoing wars with neighboring tribes. Constantly on the run, they stopped practicing their rituals for two years. In 1974, when they first made contact, the Enawane Nwe numbered just 97. Today, they are more than 500. But with contact has come many problems. <laughs> Well, <laughs> 3,000 miles to the east live the Awa tribe. The Awa are a hunter-gatherer people who are nomadic. They live in small groups of about 30 people. They hunt, they fish, and they collect fruits and insects and nuts. There are a number of uncontacted Awa. Most of them don't live in a protected area. They're in very small, fragile groups, and they are incredibly under threat today.
Ma ai pu te be mi pa nya ni ka ma te de be ro kwate ari cha u tong te pe there is an ethnobotanist who has a theory that the Awa were in fact a, an agricultural people that they planted crops several hundred years ago. This is based on the fact that they have words in their language for corn and manioc, yet they don't plant them. And it's interesting because if this is true, it means that the Awa have gone from being a fairly settled people into becoming uncontacted as a means to survive. The Karubo are a tribe living in the western Amazon in the Javri Valley. They are mainly an uncontacted people. However, in the last hundred years, there's been increasing conflict with outsiders who are invading their land. The Karubo have staunchly defended that land, and there has been violence on both sides. In 1996, invading loggers and settlers were putting a group of Karubo in extreme danger. So Sidney Pasuelo led a government expedition to contact and warn the Karubo. Duas expedições exploratórias e na terceira eu já tinha a posição da, da, da aldeia deles. Nós entramos para o mato, fazer dois dias de picada para varando, para cortando. Bina Matisse was also part of the team that made contact. Aí nós chegamos meio dia para por cima de uma loja de caceteiro. E quando eu cheguei não estava no caceteiro. Já está abandonado, já tem para andar mesmo, para mato, caceteiro, esse curvo que chama assim. Na, 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 entre os povos de Iê, quem chega em, em silêncio é o um inimigo que vem atacar. E começamos a cantar, avisando a eles. Olê, mulher render, olê, mulher rendar, né? E então cantamos, daí a pouco eles começaram a cantar do outro lado. Os índios cantaram, responderam. This rare footage is one of the only moments of first contact ever to be caught on film. Although the first contact was a success, ten months later a member of the expedition was killed by the tribe. He had re-entered their area without warning and was seen as a threat. Não é com uma, com uma visão que hoje é muito mais tranquila, muito mais respeitosa. Nós não conseguimos ainda sanar os problemas que atingem os povos que foram contactados. Né? E os povos isolados todos, a maioria todos, né? todos, eles sentiram, houve uma perda muito grande, uma depopulação imensa nos seus contatos. E posterior a essa depopulação, não houve um, um, um incremento, um retorno à sua cultura, um refortalecimento da sua autonomia.